So I did not stay here last night. I camped out with Sadie over at the JL Ranch. And I got phone calls all throughout the night about the rain, the rain, the rain. And then of course this morning, Jamie sent me pictures and I'm like, oh my God, friends, you're about to see what I'm about to see. And I don't think it's gonna be pretty. So just hold on, let's open the gate and get up in here. Um, 10 inches of rain overnight, which is just ridiculous. Oh, such a ridiculous amount of rain. And, um, well, we're about to find out together how bad, how bad it is. Y'all keep your fingers crossed because I'm nervous about this. Yeah, Jamie said that, so we have a five inch rain gauge and Jamie said that it filled up our rain gauge twice. Oh Lord, look, we have a waterfall. We have ourselves a beautiful waterfall there, friends. The waterfalls of Longhorn Lester, oh. Okay, I, I can kinda, <laughs> I'm not laughing, I'm not laughing. The Waterfalls of Longhorn Lesters. That should be a commercial. No, but in all honesty, that's not good because that means that our spillway is on the verge of collapse. And if you remember, this is the exact darn thing that happened last year. I'm gonna go ahead and get out just to make sure that my driveway and especially the bridge going over my driveway is good. Hey goats, hi sweeties. So I don't think there'll be any issues with this structure here. All right, everything seems to be solid. We do have some debris that's blocking and uh, impeding the flow of water coming down through here. Not a major issue but it looks as though we've had so much water coming over the top of that spillway that it's pushed all of the rock. You can see all of the rock here. All of this big bull rock used to be packed up along there and now it's not. And so my question is how long until all of that clay just begins to give way and we have a just a rush of water coming down through here. Uh, if the rain will stop, what we can do is in a couple of days have a couple of more loads of that bull rock brought in and we'll have to just start kind of packing it all the way back up through there and make it maybe make it more of a slope. Now there's gonna be some people who are gonna say, you know what, while it's already like that, just pause, put you some pipe in there, put some culverts in there and give that water a place to flow because what's happening is the flowing water over the top the force of that water is what's pushing all this rock away. So, all right, let's drive on up. Hi, babies. And I wanna make sure we make sure we make sure that is secure before we let our animals walk across it. So I may have to go on each side and block it off. Let's drive on up. You guys okay over there? Well, I love you. I do. Grass looks pretty. All right, so getting out of the truck, everything looks beautiful as far as the green grass and, uh, oh, Lordy, look at my round pen. All the work I done to the round pen. <laughs> no, no, my round pen, y'all, my round pen. I'd worked so hard on that thing. And it looks like all the rain may have washed the heck out of it. Let's walk over and look. We got a lot to look at. We have a whole lot to look at. I'll tell you something about this property. I feel like, uh-oh, what's Voodoo doing? Is he just scratching his underbelly? Stormy, be careful there, love. Stormy, be careful on that bridge. Um, Rita, y'all, 
don't, I guess it's safe, y'all. I guess it's safe. It's the... Beverly, like, don't try it. Don't try it without Daddy checking it first. You should let Daddy have a look first. Daddy's coming to look. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody good? Did y'all have a rough night? Pretty rough night, huh? We got some good rain here, didn't we? How are you feeling, sweetie? You love daddy? Hey, I do have me a spanky stick, okay? So don't be mean, okay? Because I do not want to have to swat you. I mean, you had a long night. You just want to be mean this morning. You just love being mean. Don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you do what I think you're going to do. Because I will have to give you a pow, pow. Don't you do what I think you want to do. I'm just smelling the mud on your feet, daddy. Maybe you are. But I still worry about what you might do. Voodoo, Bucky, you guys okay? Rita, I want you to stand back while I check out this bridge, okay? Let Daddy go first. I will sacrifice myself. <sighs> Man, what used to be a 12-foot crossing has cut down to about six. This is very dangerous. And so we're going to find us something to put over so the cows and or the horses can't be walking back and forth because that's very dangerous we would not want them to fall down in there yeah this spillway system was not the best of ideas the pond is nice and full looks be, uh, but guys i don't think i should be walking around over here well i don't guess i can stop them there they go Voodoo's going to check it out first, okay? Then Rita. And then Stormy. Y'all please be careful. Rita, don't go along the edge. She's just like a typical kid. She's like, look, Stormy. And then finally, the most cautious of them all, our sweet Bucky's. Yeah, what I'm going to do is come get me a couple of T-posts and put them in the ground over here, and then I'll rope it off. I'll put a couple more over there and rope it off. They will not come be, they won't be walking through here at all. And then I also see that I have a, a little bit of debris over there in the, um, underneath the culvert, which could be blocking some of the water from free flowing through there that feels solid now of course i don't weigh near as much as these horses do but they seem to be fine well if you remember it was may 13th that was my my birthday of last year may 13th jamie and i had traveled to illinois to see xander graduate from his college and while we were gone, we had a 10-inch rain overnight. When we came home the next day, what we saw was the exact same thing over here, except it was a lot worse. Rita, don't come up behind me, baby. We saw the same thing happened over here, except it was worse. And then, and then our entire culvert, and we didn't have the bridge then, our entire culvert, had been washed out so we couldn't we could not get up our driveway we had to come up this way over here using our service drive now so the good news is our driveway is still fine we're able to use our driveway our bridge held yes it held but this spillway here hey white kitty this spillway here has always been the weak link when it comes to our pond and water Man, and the thing is, last year, there were several of you guys who said, do not re repair this with the same faulty system. You said, instead, once the water recedes up the, off a bit, go ahead and put a couple of culverts here. They make flat culverts. They make a six-inch flat but wide culvert of concrete. And that, you could allow that culvert to come over, and water would go through the culvert and never go over the top of your spillway. 
And if that would have been the case, then it could have avoided all of this. So, friends, you were right. You were very right. Rita, please, sweetie, stop it. You're trying to mess with me. I know you are. Daddy's in a serious mode. Oh, she wants me to go look at the... Okay, Rita wants me to go look at the lunging round pen. She's very upset because her lunging round pen looks to have been destroyed. Okay, baby, first things first, okay? First things first. Let me walk over and look at the lunging round pen, okay? Let me go look at your round pen, all right? I'll go look at it. She's going to come with me. For some reason, all of the cats have come out to tell me about their adventures. All of our barn kitties, yes, these are all of our barn kitties, and they've all come out to tell me about the adventures of the rainy night. <sighs> Y'all don't love rainy nights? You don't love the rainy nights? The bump, 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 bump. I love a rainy night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I love a rainy night. Man, this round pen looks very... <laughs> I'm scared to see what it's going to look like. Well, friends, there went most of my soil right off the round pen and down towards the pond. And then there's a whole bunch of other soil spread out along through here. Man, I thought I had prevented this from happening. I took and put bricks on this other side to stop the flow of water coming down this hill. And it's, I think for the most part that worked. But you can see, you can easily see we're, we've lost a lot of soil over on this side, a lot like a whole lot because this was all the way to the side of the corrals. We've lost quite a bit down the middle, around the outside over there. Now it's just a big old kitty litter box, huh? It's just a big old kitty litter box for y'all. And y'all love it. <laughs> They're like, we're, we're fine with this, we don't mind. We're completely fine. Well, I'm not. That was our round pin, darn it. That was our round pin, dang it. Eh, I'm horrible at lunging anyway. I'm just horrible at lunging anyway, so this is not going to be my top priority. Well, there you go, friends. Now you have a little bit of an idea of what 10 inches of rain can do. Look, the water came right to here and pushed right down through there. You can see the stream. We're, so we should have had those brick come on a little bit further around, probably all the way to here. If we'd have had those brick come all the way to here, we could have pushed that water right around the edge and not right across our round pen. Oh, Lester Eugene Morrow Jr. Lester Eugene Morrow Jr. All right, friends. Well, hey, thank you for watching. And we got uh, our work cut out for us. I don't know what a guy can do on such a rainy day. Probably nothing. But we'll figure it out. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.